Back to the track now for the women's 400 metres T54. So away they go, Lou in two, Gulliave in three, Liverpool in four, Wallengren of Sweden goes in five, McFadden in six, Helbling in seven, and Subagetti of Turkey who goes in lane eight. And it's Hannah McFadden who moves up on the inside already of Helbling on the outside, but coming through straight away, Lee Wenjun, the champion over 100 metres, the silver medalist over 800. She has moved around with 200 metres to go and taken the lead quite handsomely on the outside there's the Turkish athlete Subagetchi who looks like she's in second place but she's being caught up by the rest of the pack but way out in front it is Li Wenjun of China the first three to qualify and go through to the final from this and at this stage it's certainly going to be Li Wenjun who goes through in the lead she's cruising down the line she'll coast across there in second place it's Wollengren of Sweden who's in second place at the moment and going across in third place to take the automatic qualification place the final one it is Kelsey Levevor of the USA well that was very very easy indeed 56.05 Hannah McFadden the Chinese athlete there in well third in front place, Wallengren in second and they are the three that qualify Wallengren in 59.26 behind Li Wenjun in 56.05 59.23 93 for Irina Gulieva in a personal best for her and also at the top it's Lee Wun Jen with a personal best as well. Lee Wun Jen well in front by 200 metres and opting here to compete in a long sleeve t-shirt. I've seen a couple of the Chinese athletes complete, competing in the long sleeve this week. Quite a surprise in the Doha heat. Maddie Di Rosario back in the Australian hotel. She once told me that she would prefer to compete in a itsy bitsy yeah. Damn it. You've got it wrong, that doesn't matter. But what you mean, I know. But what they're doing, I think, is to do with the sun. Because they're trying to keep the heat off their body, they're trying to keep themselves a little bit cooler. Sunburn obviously does become an issue, so the athletes, from that perspective, are trying to keep the sun off their body instead of having to use sunscreen. Well, I'm sorry you failed your challenge, you're too young, no. you've never heard of Timmy Mallet. Here's the result, Lou wins at 56.05, Wallengren second for Sweden, 59.26, Gulieva third, uh, 59.93, McFadden fourth, we'll have to wait.